So for today, we're going to be talking about Lost Sectors, specifically the Legendary and the Master Lost Sectors, because there is something wrong with this Lost Sector, or just all of them in general. Uh, let's start off with the positives of Lost Sectors, specifically these. I think it's really cool that you basically get to farm a specific exotic so for example i'm currently trying to get a better omni oculus not for pvp mostly because i want to get a better role for my pve loadout i want to get a little bit of higher uh, resilience and then uh some basically mobility resilience health and then maybe a little bit of uh of strength if i have enough the problem is I can't get one to drop. Now, for the positive, like I said, I really do like that you can choose which day you wanna farm these because for example, next season, we're gonna get some new exotics and depending on what they are, you can actually farm that for that specific uh, exotic and usually you'll get, you'll get it to drop, which is really cool. The only problem is, and I really wish this was a, a fix, is I wish we could target farm exotics a little bit more specifically. So for example, uh, this the, today is Sepulchre, the Sepulchre Legend Lost Sector on Sabathun's Throne World. Uh, I ran it, like I said, I ran it 12 times and I only got three exotics. I got one Raiju's Harness and two Raiden Flux. Now, I'm really salty because, again, I'm trying to go for an Omni Oculus. I don't care about those three exotics, like, at all. Raiju's is literally a waste of space, and Raiden's, Raiden's is a, a lot better, I will say this, especially for next season. Hopefully, it's still good. My problem, again, is just the fact that you have to not only get lucky with the drop that you get, but apparently, even running it out on Master is... It's still not, like, a guarantee, which... To be fair, all those 12 times that I ran it, I ran it on Master Lost Sector. I did not run him on Legendary Lost Sector. So now I'm just kind of like, well, what's the point? Because on Legend, it's even worse. Like my 12 runs would have been probably like I got one out of all, all of those 12s and I got it like at the last one, probably like it's it really is annoying when, when I'm trying to target farm something and I just have no way to target farm. To be fair, it's really cool that all the exotics that I would be getting in this lost sector is gonna be a chess piece, but when there's like six or seven chess pieces, it doesn't really matter. So for me, the way I would fix this is just let us choose which exotic we can farm. Like, I think that would be the best way. If you wanna have it a little bit more randomized, then I would say, let us choose like a main exotic that we want and then like two bottom ones that are like, we'll take these, but we're not trying to farm for this one. If you wanna add a little bit more RNG. I feel like we, we should have a little bit more targeting towards exotics. Now I know people are gonna be like, oh, well you need to run GMs, you need to run this or that. My problem is GMs are even worse for target farming certain exotics because let's say again, I'm going for an Omni Oculus. When I do GMs, and even, even with this week where it's double loot, the problem is that I won't even be able to get what I want most of the time because now it's not only open to my chest piece, it's open to every piece of the armor set, armor pieces and the weapons. So now I'm like, hopefully I get lucky and get this chest piece that I want, or I probably will get this thousand of exotics that are already in the loot pool. So. My only complaint is I wish we can target farm these a little bit better. I wish that when you ran master, not only did it feel like you're running master, but the the rewards also reflected that because on top of not getting anything on multiple runs, the most you'll get is an enhancement core, which is kind of useless when you're running this because I don't I, enhancement cores is not a great prize. At least give me like two legendaries so that way I can you delete them and get some legendary shards because when you get nothing and i mean like nothing like you maybe you'll get material but that's it it's very very aggravating because not saying this is hard because i'm already at like level cap so to be fair this shouldn't be hard hard for people but when i'm running this like two three minutes i think like what was it three minutes and some change was my fastest go with this one which was really cool and I get nothing, I just feel like, what's the point? Like, I might as well just bite the pillow and use the Omni Oculus that I have right now. Because again, it's not terrible. It's just, I want a better one so I can like really min max that that option. Because again, for next season, for, 
for day one, I'm probably going to run Omnioculus with a void build and whatnot. So it's just getting really aggravating trying to get this exotic from this from this legendary lost sector, which I'm running on master, which drops exotic chess pieces. And I only got three out of 12 runs. And that's just aggravating. And I'm running it on master again. I want to reiterate this. I'm running this on master and I only got three drops out of 12 runs. And it's supposed to be common. That doesn't sound common to me. That sounds rare. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This was going to be a fast video. I just wanted to complain about this. I will have the TWAB video out shortly because, man, dude, I don't know what it was, but I, I guess I was just right. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it in that video, but be safe and I'll see you guys later.